I had one meeting with Martin Glenn, um, and he effectively suggested that if I wrote a statement, um, a favourable statement saying that the FA are not institutionally racist, that they would think about releasing that money. I felt that was bordering on blackmail. I categorically refused to write any statement because I'd already suggested that I did not, it's not for me to come up with that, to, to come up with that um, uh, determination that the FA are institutionally racist. I, I, it's not for me to come up with, I've never said that publicly and I've never said that. My comments have always been based on what I felt were racist comments to both myself and Juju Spence. That is the extent to which my comments have been and how the FA handled the evidence around those comments. So for Martin Glenn to effectively suggest that I should say that the FA are not institutionally racist in order to get a payment that they already, con they already contractually agreed to, I think is, again, a suggestion that um, the, the case has been handled uh, appallingly. I mean, I don't know what the legal definition of blackmail is, but I felt... Um, I felt I was being asked to do something that I wouldn't have ordinarily done in exchange for a payment that was already agreed.